in this case with this family, we do a technique that you'll learn more in depth um, next month when I do the intensive, but I use an apple tree to say to this family and the families I work with, the apples are the tree, are the weeds or symptoms. In medical science, we would say, do you have a sore throat? Uh, do you have a fever? In mental health, we say, can I see suicidal acts? Can I see depression and anxiety? Can I see help self-harm? Can I see tremendous conflict even around small things like chores where the family is on total on um, conflict and chaos? But then I said to the family, would you like to know what's causing this? So if you look at an apple tree and a doctor pulls the apples that are stressed out and got bruises in them, if the, the apples will grow back in the same condition, if we don't look underneath the soil, unseen to the naked eye, something called toxic seeds that are fed a steady dose of unhealthy undercurrents. Like, um, you know, when you have to do a blood transfusion, when the blood is poisoned in the system, it causes the body to uh, go tilt, like with cancer. So families usually, when I say, would you like to know what's causing this depression and anxiety? And they actually become co-collaborators. I say then I'm going to give them a, a, a handout for each one of these definitions along with its undercurrents. And you're going to be like Sherlock Holmes. And what happens is something called externalizing the problem. So instead of the family going, hey, would you just fix my kid? He's really depressed. I, I don't really need to be involved. Michael White calls this externalizing the problem. Uh, our therapeutic ends to um, therapeutic means. I got the title wrong, sorry. So at this moment, when they start looking at the apple tree, their mindset shifts from, you know who the true enemy is? Not each other, but we got to rally together to kick out these, these toxic seeds. And I'll even have sometimes a, a, a glass of water where I'll put in those tablets that make the water dark, like at, on Easter egg hunts. And I'll actually like put them down and say, these healthy undercurrents just drop in. And this is this has its own guest, ch guest chair, guest, guest uh, room in your house. We've got to rally together to get these out of the family. This is a much better narrative than fix my kid. So you're going to see the family really gravitate towards this narrative is that we're all in this together to come together to kick out the toxic seed with healthy undercurrents. So let me show you what happens next with this case. So this family um, is intrigued by it, but I know that they're pretty stiff as a board. I mean, it's, I mean, they're, they're just two months ago, their son died of suicide. Uh, see, I'm changing my language. Thank you. Um, and um, I needed to get in some kind of way that was non-threatening for them to normalize that their depression and anxiety and the disengagement that they feel, disconnectedness happens in other families. So one of the things I'd, I want you to take away is that Hollywood movies can around really difficult issues can shake things up. So when I hand them the C tree diagram and draw it on my whiteboard or telemedicine, I show it. I say, could I show you an example of another family with unresolved grief was the unhealthy undercurrent and they did not get healthy undercurrents on how to resolve the grief. And it led to a suicide attempt, multiple suicide attempts with one of their sons after their oldest son committed suicide in a boating accident in Lake Michigan. 